Hi, how's it going? This is Bradley Powell from Flaky's Auto Body and Custom Suspension. I'm going to show you today how to bench test solenoids for a hydraulic setup in a car. These actually came out of my car. They're all hooked together. Still got the power leads on it for the switches and everything. And I got one of them clicking. I'm going to find out which one it is. I haven't checked them yet. Put my money on that one. I don't know why all my years of experience, the middle one seems like the first one to always go. Uh, it's either this one or it's going to be that one. I'm putting my money on this one. I haven't checked them yet, so I don't know. I'm just saying. I bet it's that one right there. So uh, some things you're going to need. You're going to need a 12-volt current. I'm using a battery charger. I got it on 12 volts, 10 amps. You don't want to know higher than that. You don't need it. I'm using a 12-volt test light. And if you got anything higher, you're going to pop this. So you're going to need a test light and a jumper wire, which means you're going to need a wire coming off of the positive side because you're going to need it to activate the solenoids. All right, so hook your ground to the base of the solenoid because it needs to be grounded out. So hook it to the ground, to the base. I've got my alligator clip here going to my test light on the ground as well because it needs to be grounded. I got my positive going to the positive side of the solenoid. Make sure that's secure before you cut your power supply on because once I cut it on, that's going to be live. You don't want it popping off, going to the side, touching anything, whatever, because it is going to have current going through it as well as this one. Make sure it's not touching anything before you cut it on. All that's hooked up. Now I'm going to cut it on. All right, right now we're live. I'm going to take my test light just to make sure. And it's lighting up. So we've got current somewhat. There we go. We've got current. And I'm going to check this little wire here. Let's make sure. All right, we got current there. All right, I'm going to start with this first solenoid. Now, I'm going to touch it. The test light comes on immediately. That means it's open. It means it's bad. It shouldn't be open. Nothing should happen. So, all right, so far so good. Touch it there. Nothing happened. I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to hold this. I'm going to take my jumper wire. I'm going to touch my lead that comes from my switches to activate the solenoid. What should happen, that test light should light up. All right, that's good. I'm going to move to the next one, which now i got to move my ground down because the solenoids had to be grounded out. Just move the grounds down, test light, and the battery charger. All right, so you can see I got this one grounded out. I'm leaving that there because this solenoid is good. So current's going to pass through. So put my test light here. Try to hold it to the side a little bit. All right, now I'm going to get my ground wire. I mean, I'm sorry, my turn on lead. And I'm going to touch it. Now you can't see. Sorry, I'm doing this one handed and trying to hold the phone too. Alright. So I got that hot wire. I'm going to touch it here. Test light should light up. And it didn't. That's my bitch right there. So that means that one so far is bad. Sometimes if you keep clicking it like that, the test light may light up. If it does, that means it's, it's going bad. I mean, swap it out. Don't even play around with it because everybody knows what happens. And once they do lock up, uh, you just ask them for trouble. So if you hit it a couple of times and the test light comes on sometimes, sometimes it don't, and you're holding it steady, you're not moving the test light around, it's actually the solenoid, swap that joint, swap it out. Just get rid of it, throw it away. All right, now I need to check this one now because I don't want to replace that one if it's good. We know for sure this one's bad, so now I'm going to replace this one right here. So now I'm going to cut my charger off because I'm actually going to have to move my hot wire. Since that one's bad, it's not going to let current pass. I'm going to go ahead and move my grounds down. Make sure it ain't going to fall. Grab my positive. Put it there. All right, we're hooked back up. It's the same principle. It's just we had to jump over this one since that one's bad. We had to we had to bypass it. 
Make sure that's out of the way. Let me cut the charger back on. All right. Touch the test light. Make sure it's not open. It's good. So let me hold that and hold this. Let me get my jumper wire. Touch it there. Test light's lighting up. It's good. All right. I just wanted to make sure because I didn't like I said I didn't want to throw that one away if it's good. Cut this back off. I don't want to be messing up nothing. Let me unhook all this. And that's how you bench test them. So now I know that my middle one is bad. I hope this helps someone out. I know a lot of people, they don't know how to check them. You can check individuals, just do them the same way. Just hook your positive here, ground it, and just test your lead here. They don't have to be hooked up. I just did it because it's easier. They just came out of my car like this. That way I got all my wires are connected. It's just easier. Um, but I hope this helped. You know, if you got a lot of solenoids laying around, you don't know if they're good or they're bad, you can check them now. You have some spares that you probably didn't know that were good anymore. Uh, blocks can be checked the same way. If you take, if you got blocks in your car and you take the cover off that block, all that's inside is three of these stood up. It's the top mounted solenoids. They're just mounted, well, they'll be mounted kind of like that. And they'll have the posts on the top. That's all that's in solenoid blocks is just three of these. So if you got anybody saying, oh, I don't run regular solenoids, I run blocks, they're stronger, just tell them, you stupid idiot. Only thing that's inside them is three of these. So you can check them the exact same way. You can just take that plastic cover off that block and you can check the block the exact same way and you can replace those solenoids inside the block. You can buy them from Advanced or AutoZone. The only thing you have to do is you have to cut one of the ears off to get it to screw down. And if you have to replace one, you'll see what I mean when it comes to that point. Because the ears are shaped different, they won't mount. So you just cut one of the ears off and just put a screw through it. Uh, but that's all that is in blocks and you can rebuild those. A lot of people, I've seen them, th people throw them away for no reason because they think they're bad, that, that they're just one solid unit. They're not. It's just three of these inside that block. Like I said, you can check them the same way. So I hope this helps some. Uh, if you got any questions, just let me know. Try to get some videos posted up, you know, some other hydraulic things that I think might help some people. I've been doing this for a long time, so I've learned a lot of tricks over the over the years on how to do things, and hopefully it'll help someone out so they don't have to struggle like I did when I first got started. And I'll definitely try to get me a better mounted camera next time so I don't have to keep moving it around. Videos won't be so shaky. All right, well, I appreciate it. Any questions, just let me know, send a comment or whatever, I'll answer whatever. About anything about the hydraulics, if you got any questions, just, just ask. If I can't answer them, I know some people some people that can. So Westside Car Club in the house and I'm going to go ahead and get this one swapped out and get it back in my Cadillac and get it back moving. So uh, I appreciate it. Have a good day. Peace out.